Well, sticks and stones, it may break our bones, but words, yeah, y'all words actually do hurt, you know? But they also have the ability to heal. You guys, today I'm at Planet Word, the museum where language comes to life. Now, if you grew up with a mama like mine and you were unfamiliar with the word, she would tell you to sound it out and go grab a dictionary and look it up and come back and tell her all about it. But here at Planet Word, you'll meet people like Doreen from Tanzania and she'll teach you pronunciations and definitions of words in Swahili. Or you can learn all about the Irish language from our friend Hillary. In fact, once you step foot on the second floor and enter the spoken world exhibit, you can learn a laundry list of words in 11 different languages just from a tap or two on a tablet. So where do words even come from? The story of English is told in the most visually pleasing display that'll have you thinking about how you communicate. Do you typically use metaphors or similes or do you use humor to break the ice? Of course, where we're from has a lot to do with how we converse. Midwest here, born and raised, and I will argue you down if you say I have an accent, even though sources say we actually all have one. With an average of 42,000 different words stored in the brains of English-speaking adults, it's pretty understandable how sometimes the most common things become whatchamacallits and thingamabobs and thingamajigs and oh my gosh, y'all, it's right on the tip of my tongue or we need a karaoke screen to remember the lyrics to a song. The bottom line is words matter. That's why a text from Bay saying I got your back is the only sentence you need to read. Next time you're in Washington, D.C., share a kind word.